with the students, I hope they are staying safe and that protect us and Ramadan work. In the previous class, we discussed about election. Today, we are going to talk about voting. What is voting? Voting is the act of choosing leaders or representatives among two or more candidates for a position. Yes. And voting does not only take place when we are choosing a government. Voting can also be done in the private and social organization as well. We choose leaders by votes. Yes. Have you ever heard the word voters register? It's simple as it sounds. Voters register is the register of eligible voters. People that are of age from 18 years and above, they are already eligible to vote. In Nigeria, you cannot vote without being in the voters register. So this, uh, this voters register is just a document that compiles the names of eligible voters. Yes, that is what the voters register is all about. And if I ask, why do we vote? Why is it necessary? I'll mention just a few points to show us why it is important for us to vote. The first point is that voting allows us to choose who our leader, who the government, who, who are going to be the members of government. That is what this voting does for us. The second thing is that it enables us to have a peaceful change of government. What do I mean by peaceful change of government? In a democracy in Nigeria, as it, is, as it is in the constitution, every government has a term, has two terms of four years each. So in every, every four years, another government is expected to come on board. Yes. So if you want to change, for, for example, in Nigeria now, the, pres the president, that is the government of President Robert Dubari, <laughs> let me use that word, he's already in office. He's doing, he's already in his second term of office. So after this, after these eight years now, the constitution allows for another election to hold, to take place. So if we want to change, as I said, he's already in his second term. But after his first term, after the first four years, people re-elected him because it's constitutional to do so. So after his first four years, if Nigeria wanted him not to be in power, they would have voted him out. So that is the power that voting has. It gives you the opportunity to change your leaders if you wish to. But it's in his own, but in, 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 in his own time or in the president's regime, the, the citizens still voted him for another four years. So another importance of voting is that it enables change government members that we feel are not doing well. So those are the three reasons why we vote. Yes. All right. Now we are going to talk about the processes of voting. What are the processes? There are a number of processes which I'm just going to run through. The first one is for the voter to get to the registered, the when he registered very early, that means first punctual to the registration center with his voter's card. Once he's registered, he's expected to have a voter's card. So he goes early to the registration center with his voter's card. After he has done that, the electoral official will check the voter's registration to see whether his name is on that list. If his name is not on that list, that means he cannot vote. So for those that have their names on the register, they are going to be checked and they have the opportunity to vote. Yes. So this person going to be as I said, that means checking his name in the voter's register. After that, he lines up and he waits to be given a ballot paper. Once he has his ballot paper, is ready for voting. When he gets to the polling uh, booth, there's already an ink stamp there 
on his on his uh, um, voters and uh, on his ballot paper, he's going to see the name of all the parties with their symbols on that. So that there are small small spaces with party names and symbol. So the voter puts his hand in the ink, puts it next to the party he wants to vote for. And he makes sure that that ink he puts on the paper gets dry before he folds it. Because if it gets messed and smeared on other parts, that vote will not be counted. So he, he turns prints, makes sure it gets dry, he folds the paper and drops it into the ballot box. Once he has done that, it means he has voted. Now he leaves the line on the queue and allow other voters to vote also, after which he has the free will or to wait for the result to be counted and used. That's done. Yes. And here the conclusion of the election, which he writes down. Here the election results, writes it down, and then he leaves him within center. So that is what she is all about. You have this assignment, which I expect you to do. Number one, what is voter registration? Number two, these three importance of voting, which I already told you. And if you know more, tell me. Tell me other ones which I did not mention, I'll be glad. Then the third one is mention five steps of voting after accreditation. After the person has been accredited, tell me five more steps the voter will go through. Have a wonderful day. This is my number. Yeah, okay.